The Cork Kronos contains nine powerful sound engines. One of these is the Poly 6 EX. The Poly 6 EX is a virtual analog synth which is comprised of the features and sonic character of the classic Korg Poly 6 and the additional functionality that the power of the Kronos brings to it. It boasts a whopping 180 voice polyphony and an oscillator, a sub oscillator, a four pole resonant low pass filter, dedicated chorus ensemble and phaser effects as well as classic ADSR parameters and two multi-stage envelope generators and much, much more. Let's dive into this expansive sound engine so that you can take advantage of all the power underneath your fingertips. Welcome to my second tutorial here on the Poly 6 EX sound engine in the Chord Kronos. Now I will say that this is the second tutorial. There is another tutorial that came before this. I recommend that you do watch them in sequential order even though you don't have to, um, but a link will be in the description to the first tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, what we're going to be going over is the pitch section of the Poly 6 um, sound engine. So uh, your first knob in your pitch section is gonna be your bend range, and that controls your pitch bend um, range when you're using your joystick. And by default, it is set to um, two semitones. up or down so so you have two um, semitones but of course you can change it to three semitones and now we do the pitch bend wheel joystick I keep calling it a wheel it goes up or down three semitones and of course you can change it to four And it goes all the way up to 12, which is an octave. Or you can go all the way down to zero. So you have up to an octave. Now, the deal is, is you don't have to be, your pitch bend doesn't have to be adjusted to, you know, say two semitones. You can go 2.5 semitones. And you can end up on a note that's in between your actual notes on the keyboard. So you can change it to anything you want to. Right now it's set to 7.65 semitones. So it's up to you. Next one is going to be your transpose. Your transpose um, is exactly what it sounds like. You can transpose the keyboard. So I can go up like this and I can hit one, hit C, and now it's uh, gone up a semitone. I can set it to two, I can set it to three, I can set it to four, and I can go all the way up to 24, a whole two octaves, all the way down, down two octaves. With the transpose and with this one as well, anywhere in between. All right, perfect. So your last knob in your pitch section is going to be your tune knob and that allows you to tune your synthesizer. Allows you to tune it. Um, this controls, uh, this you can go up one semitone or down one semitone. And it's really more of a fine tune. So it's a finer tune than the uh, the transpose in a way, because with your with this one, you're going to be in between a half step when you tune it. So that's your pitch your pitch section in your Poly Six. Now let's have a little bit of fun here with this uh, pitch section. So I'm gonna. Just make a few adjustments here. I haven't gone over this in the other tutorials yet. But we'll get to some of these other parameters in a different tutorial. All right, so let's say this is the 
this is what I wanted my synthesizer to sound like. I can come back out to the common section. And in the common section, you see EXI1, but you also see over here, you see EX, EXI2. And what that means is I can actually have in one program, this is my program, in one program, I can have two EXI instruments. Now the EXI instruments are all the sound engines except for the HD1 sound engine. I can actually have two EXI instruments in one program. So I can come over here, because right now it's set to off, and I can select Poly 6. And now I have two Poly 6s playing at the same time. This is my EXI, EXI sound engine, uh, my EXI 1 instrument, and then I have EXI 2 as well. Now let's go back over into Common. What I can do is I can copy one um, instrument to another slot. So I can copy slot one into sound two or slot one or slot two into slot one. So let's go here. I'm going to come up, hit that little arrow there and hit copy um, oscillator. And I want to go from EXI one into EXI two, hit OK. Now the two Poly 6 sound engines are exactly the same. I'm going to come into my second Poly 6. And this is where the pitch now gets fun. So I'm going to take my pitch bend, which is by default, is set to 2. I'm going to take it all the way up to 12. So now when I bend the pitch bend, one of the instruments, uh, the pitch bend is set to 2. And the other instrument, the other poly 6, the instrument, the bend is set to 12 a whole octave so that I have that uh, I'm gonna come into my fine tuning here and I'm just gonna tune it up some and that's where you get that D tune so it adds some It adds some depth to your sound. All right, now I can come over here into the transpose and I can change my transpose, changes to seven. Now you have fifths, basically. So that's some of the fun that you can definitely have because you can have two poly sixes going at the same time and you can set the parameters differently and get some, you know, some different sounds uh, for sure.